five minutes and after the game, and a lot of them actually asked me a week ago, how, how, how are you going to feel when you get the hit? I had no idea how I was going to feel because uh, uh, I had no idea how I was going to feel when I walked in here today because uh, in any situation like that, um, the fans are going to create the feeling. And uh, that's obviously why but yeah, I knew the feeling would, would mean a lot more across the street than in Wrigley Field. Well, but you, you, I'll tell you this, they went nuts at Wrigley Field. Uh, the point is, you yeah, had... Yeah, they went nuts, but I guarantee you, if I'd have got that hit, there wouldn't have been anybody crying in that, in that ballpark. So, it's about, it's about roots, then. Roots and boyhood and the river and uh, your... Well, was there 50,000 people there last night? Uh, I probably had iced tea with 35,000 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Two of my favorite uh, sportsmen was Ernie Lombardi and Pete Rose. I want to know if you had the privilege of playing with Ernie Lombardi. Playing with him? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I must be old. I didn't even have the privilege of watching him play. Uh, but I, had, I did have the privilege of meeting the man, though. I knew Ernie Lombardi when, when he worked at the ballpark at Candlestick Park uh, when I first uh, joined the, the National League. Very good player. Very tremendous uh, player. Pete, I wanted to make a few comments, if you don't we haven't got It's an hour show, so okay. you'll be real. <laughs> okay. The reason I think Pete Rose is a better all-around hitter than Ty Cobb, going to the technical aspects of the game, in those days, the, the fielders had much smaller gloves. The outfielders uh, were not near as uh, athletic and fast and developed and so forth as today's. The AstroTurf has to make it easier for the guys to field the ball. I, there's no comparison. Rose is better. And, and, and you, you didn't have uh, really pitchers, as we know. That's, uh, that's, you really don't do it that way because uh, you know, Ty Cobb probably was the greatest hitter ever to play based on his 367 lifetime average. I don't care what league you're playing in. If you had 367, you know, take it from me as a baseball player. Um, and you, you really can't judge him because he excelled against the people he had to play against. And I have did well against the people in my competition I had to play against. And there's no question that if I played back in the 20s uh, that I could be a real good hitter. Uh, if Cobb played today, he probably only hit 330. But he's 98 years old. He'd be 98 years old. <laughs> and it, you can you can lose the battle. It's just the same the same comparison of, of trying to say that that Babe Ruth was better than Henry Aaron, or Henry Aaron is better than Babe well, Ruth. Or, you've got to forgive us though for, for thinking about it. Sure, uh, I understand that, but I just think it's a losing uh, it's a yeah, losing battle. But and you know, gonna, if his uh, his outfield hits would not drop in today. First of all, he played in, an, in a league, I guess I do sound like uh, Andy Cobb, and, and it is true, he must have been one magnificent uh, fellow with his spatial uh, ver his sp uh, skills as an athlete. But uh, it, was a, it was not an integrated league in which he played, so you had all that talent of color that never got to play against him. Uh, I think that's a significant difference between his game and yours. Well, there's a lot of differences, but uh, I just, I, I really don't like to compare the, see, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I, I think the, the greatest player ever to play the game of baseball was Babe Ruth. And the reason I say this is Babe Ruth used to go into towns and play a three or four game series, and he actually saved franchise after franchise because of the attendance when he played the games. And because of him saving the franchises, it enabled baseball to keep going, and it's given us all the opportunity to play the game of baseball. Yeah, Pete, Pete, where was your daughter at last night? Where was my daughter at? She was about two rows behind my wife. Maybe one row, I don't know. 
If you don't know where to look for, it's hard to pick her out among 50,000 people. Yes. Phil, they gave you a set of silver last night with 12 cups for every other record you've broken. What are some of those other records? Hey, I'm Pete. I'm not Phil, pal. <laughs> Phil's up there. Phil, did they give you 12 cups last night? Uh, most hits by a switch hitter, most uh, singles, most... Well, Marge presented that to me, but she really hadn't given it to me yet, so I don't know what it says on there. <laughs> Just like they give me the keys to the car, I haven't found a car yet. <laughs> Hell, I walked home from the ballpark last night. That's why I'm so tired. Pete, I know uh, Sparky Anderson had a great influence on you. Have you heard from him? I heard from him about a week ago. Um, he was a big influence on me. He's, he's uh, got to be the most successful manager I ever played for. I learned a lot about what I think handling people from Sparky Anderson. I didn't learn a damn thing from Sparky about hitting, right, doggy? Can you find us? We're way up here. Sir, not much time. Yeah. Uh, Pete, I've been on my you for many a year. And one thing that I'm very proud that you always recognize your fellow players. You have been like that all your years. Thank you and many, many love. Bill, I don't forget like now, last time we were here and you asked the lady a question about where she got on my underwear, so be careful up there. I would just like to say, last night, I work in a health care facility here in Cincinnati, and you generated so much excitement in those older people last night that I can't tell you. I mean, they were telling me stories about when you first played, and the memories were just coming back, and I want to just say thank you for them. Thank you. And we'll be back in Cincinnati with Pete Rose in just a moment. Cincinnati uh, with uh, Pete Rose and I had a want to make sure I got everybody right here I lost my <laughs> uh, let me let me just say that uh, we can't guarantee everybody a foul ball and you know when you get to when you get one it's a lifetime experience what I've asked Pete to do is sign uh, some baseballs here so we think we've got you a pretty nice souvenir uh, There's no fair way to do this. 